Yo, what's up guys, my name is Adam and today I'm gonna show you how to train double touches in Rocket League uh, doing freestyle. So, first you gotta download this code for this training, it's a friend of mine. I'm gonna leave the code down in the description below. So you gotta get in it and go to the third shot, you gotta skip the first two. So I'm gonna skip them real quick. Okay, so we got to the third shot, which is the double touching shot. Uh, the ball is gonna head towards us and it's gonna roll down on the flat. We just gonna hit it with the right speed so it gains enough height without touching the ceiling. So I'm gonna boost up to it and stop a second before I hit it. Watch this. Okay, I'm gonna do that again. You just gotta keep practicing that until you get good enough and yeah. Second step, you gotta follow it up by jumping towards up the ball and like boosting up. You can do aerial or you can do freestyle, just do whatever you want. Okay, it reminds you, you don't have to touch it, you just gotta get close to it. And you don't have to aim to the backboard uh, yet, but just aim to the ball. Okay, the third step. Now, while combining step 1 and 2, you have to aim yourself to the ball, touch it, and make the ball hit the backboard so you can follow it up and score the goal. So in, this is the hardest step in my opinion. You just gotta keep practicing uh, the speed and the right angle with hitting the ball so it makes a good contact with the backboard so you can follow it up with a goal of your own. So I'm gonna show you how it looks. You just gotta keep practicing that shot. You can do slow shots, fast shots, hard angles, whatever you want. You just really gotta keep practicing this move. So I'm gonna show you once again. Okay, so after you mastered the step, the third step, uh, we're coming up to the third step, which is the final one actually. After you make the ball hit the backboard, you need to follow it up with the goal, right? This is something that comes with time, just gotta keep practicing and keep feeling the mechanics, keep feeling, as as long as you're good in aerials or like controlling your car in there, you're gonna get this quick. So this is why I said step 3 is the hardest one. Uh, maybe step 4 is the hardest one for you, I don't know. I'm gonna show you how it looks. Okay, watch this. That's a pretty nice angle. It touched the floor, but it doesn't matter, right? So, this is what's called the double touch. While freestyling, you can do it without freestyling. You just gotta be good. Okay, guys, before the video ends, uh, you gotta understand that this skill takes a lot of practice and a lot of time. Just don't give up and you will get it eventually, trust me. And if you found this tutorial helpful in any way and interesting, please leave a like and don't forget to subscribe to me. Thanks, and that's all for today. Take care, guys.